Sorry, Nana, you'll have to unmute. Sorry, I muted everyone. All right. Om. 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 Brahmanandam paramasukadam kevalam gnanamotim Dvandvate tam gagana sadrusham tattvam asyadi lakshyam ekam nityam vimalam achalam sarvadhi sakshi bhutam bhavate tam triguna rahitam sadgurum tam namane shruti smruti purana nam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutav Vande Bhagavantav Punapunaha Sada Shiva Samaram Bham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam Vande Guru Paramparam Guru Parampara, we will have to prostrate to all the time. Why? Because the Vangmayam, that is the literature, the beautiful set of Vedas, the Itihasas, the Kavyas like Ramayana and so many other Mahat Grandhas, they have come to us through the, through the Sampradaya, through the Gurus only. Guru has taught the Shishya, Shishya taught his Shishyas, etc., etc. Okay, Asmadacharya Paryantam, one day Guru Paramparam. And when we say one day Guru Paramparam, we must have an absolute faith in all the words we have used. The words we have used, we must be in a position to live them. Then the words will, will have life. Sadashiva Samarambam, Shankaracharya Madhyamam, Asmadacharya Paryantam, Vande Guru Paramparam. I bow down to the tradition of Guru Parampara because without the tradition, they, there, is, there is nothing available to you to discuss. There is no literature. Incidentally, the, the, the land of the land of Bharata is very, very rich in all kinds of beautiful literature. You call it Veda Vangmayam, you call it Upanishads, you call it Kavyas, you call it some beautiful poetry through Kalidasa, etc. All these things, these are available to us because People have been, people like us, who have respected the Gurus. And we have respected the, the Sampradaya, the tradition. Tradition should be respected always. Without the tradition, the mother teaches the daughter, hey, be like this, be like that, be like that. That daughter hands down to her daughter. That is the tradition. Okay, now to ensure this tradition is not broken, Vyasa Bhagavan has had four Shishyas and he has taught them the Vedas and given them the Vedas. Each one of them, so and so Veda, so and so Veda, etc. The names of those Shishyas are one is our famous Vaishampayana, 
very famous very famous because mahabharata everywhere you will have vaishampayana vacha is it not vaishampayana vacha sota vacha and who is this sota we will come to know and vaishampayana is one of the disciples of vyasa bhagavan vaishampayana then another one is paila p a i l a paila the third one is jaimini the fourth one is loma harshana he is also called roma harshana because i believe in sanskrit between la and ra interchangeability is permitted i believe roma harshana becomes loma harshana and that roma harshana's son is sota through that sota maharshi only we have we have come to know so many things including including mahabharata the ashtadasha puranas incidentally vyasa bhagavan after mahabharata and after codifying and editing the vedas into four he has also rendered the 18 puranas ashtadasha mahapuranas okay now we have to see the before we get into the gita request please don't be in a hurry to get into the gita we will get into the gita and when we get into the gita there is no getting out you will be imprisoned into the beauty of the gita so much you cannot get out right we will see now before that we must get to know the background to the gita how gita which is part of the bhishma parva which is the sixth parva in mahabharata how gita came to be unfolded to whom it was unfolded why it was unfolded etc etc before that the two armies have assembled no we must find out the reason for this conflict the reason for this conflict if you want to know if you go through in a nutshell we have seen shantanu shantanu son was bhishma and bhishma under some terrible compulsive situations has taken terrible vows he is called devavrata earlier he became after taking the terrible vows he became bhishma and shantanu's son vichitra virya he died early in life and vyasa bhagavan begot on his queens one dhritarashtra who is blind another pandu who is okay right and the blind dhritarashtra was unqualified to be the king of hastinapura so what happened the pandits of the court have have anointed pandu as the king and vidura as the prime minister and vidura incidentally also was begotten by vyasa bhagavan on a servant maid sent by sent by ambika ambika was one of the queens of vichitravirya okay now vidura is of uh, the amsha of amsha of yamaraj yamadharma raja yamadharma raja and another who is born with the tamsha is yudhishthira now after pandu was anointed he goes for a digvijaya yatra brings in a lot of wealth and and makes as though the elder brother hey don't worry brother you be on the throne i'll i would like to enjoy hunting in the forest so he goes hunting he takes his two queens kunti and madri 
Kunti, I told you, that was a borrowed name. Earlier, her name was Pratha. Because of that, Pardhaya, Pradibodhitam, etc. Pardhaya means Pradha's son. Pardhaya means for the sake of Pradha's son. We'll see that. Now, he goes hunting and he has that weakness for hunting. When he goes hunting, he shoots an arrow at a pair of deer and and the arrow pierces one deer and that is a rishi. The pair of deer, rishi and rishipatni, they have by their penance powers disguised themselves as, as deer and they were playing in the forest. Pandu little knew that. He shot that arrow and the rishi cursed Pandu. If ever you copulate with any of your queens, you will die. And he breaths his last. His, his you know, wife also dies away. Now, this news comes to Hastinapura. Before this, the, the five Pandavas were born with the help of the, the power that Kunti obtained through Durvasa, some mantra she had obtained. She begot Dharmaraja, Bhimasena, Arjuna, Nakula Sahadeva for Madri. Now Pandu, when he dies, when he copulates with Madri, he dies because of the Rishi's curse. And incidentally, these curses are very, very powerful. In our life, we should learn never to curse anybody, number one. Whether curse is uttered aloud or inside the mind, it is bad, bad enough. If you can love somebody, if you can spread that love, Never curse anybody because curse can be very, 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 very serious. Yayati, he cursed his eldest son, Yadu, and that curse carried on till Bhagavan Krishna. So curses are bad. We should never indulge in curses. So what happened? He dies. When he dies, Madri goes away on to the funeral pyre with Pandu, and Kunti is left with all these five children. These five children come back to Hastinapura, and the rishis there, they bear witness that these five people are indeed Pandu's sons. So Dhritarashtra very, very cleverly accepts all of them, Inwardly, he will be cursing himself. Oh, these people have come. Now these will be the heir apparents. Because he has been in the throne at the pleasure of Pandu. The throne is not his. The kingdom is not his. It belongs to Pandu. And what belongs to Pandu? After Pandu, it belongs to Pandu's eldest son, who happens to be Yudhishthira. Dhritarashtra knew this, but somehow he accepted. And later on, as the princess grew, Duryodhana has, in a very wild manner, together with his maternal uncle Shekuni, planned to eliminate the Pandavas one by one. He, he planned to eliminate Bhimasena first. He failed. Later on, he sent all these Pandavas together with Kunti to a place called Varanavata. There he built a beautiful palace which is purely made out of highly inflammable material. And the Pandavas did not know, but Vidura warns them. Vidura warns them in a language of his own, which was understood by Yudhishthira. 
right when they go to varanavata they will be there for quite some time and they escape from the fire duryodhana plans to have that put to fire that palace when pandavas are sleeping so what bhimasena does is he himself puts the palace to fire after one one miner sent by vidura has created a tunnel for all of them from the palace to escape into the wilderness that happens and they will be free they will go away and when they go away they meet with one one demon and the demon will be eliminated by bhimasena that demon's name is hidimba and he had a sister of the same name bhimasena marries that sister okay and he begot ghatodgaja on that hidimba now these people they go away and when they go they go to some ekashila pura when they go there there is another demon there who always always used to have one man one cart full of uh, food grains and two buffaloes all those things the demon would eat every day so bhimasena one day went as the bearer of the food cart and he eliminated the demon the demon's name is bakasura right then afterwards they go to panchala drupada rajya there they win over drupadi in that archery contest only arjuna would be successful right when karna was about to try draupadi would say i will not marry sotaputra sotaputra we have covered yesterday sotaputra is one born to a kshatriya prince and a brahmin lady i will not marry so he does not even try and arjuna tries wins over draupadi and vyasa bhagavan comes over there and says all of you marry all of you marry this lady and he will bless them and go away and dhritarashtra comes to know pandavas are not eliminated so like a very wise king he beckons all of them he sends vidura to bring the pandavas and draupadi to hastinapura after they have come with the blessings of bhishma acharya and elders a decision is taken to divide the kingdom into two halves the best half is given to duryodhana right then the worst half is given to yudhishthira they don't mind they go away when they go away thanks to the grace of krishna bhagwan they make that desert like land a very fertile land and beautiful palace they will construct in that they will be living very very happily they would conduct a rajasuya yaga also and the rajasuya yaga is conducted by somebody whose whose father is no more right for instance duryodhana could not have conducted rajasuya yaga so this rajasuya yaga finished duryodhana would be requested by yudhishthira to keep on receiving the gifts from the various other well wishers and the neighboring kingdoms and duryodhana's hands will pain like mad because the number of gifts received were enormous and the number of gifts distributed by yudhishthira were equally enormous so all these made duryodhana very jealous 
So he gets back to Hastinapura. He plans to have a game of dice with Shekuni as his as his uh, partner. He will be playing, and Duryodhana will be calling the shots. And Yudhishthira will play. He wanted to engage Shekuni, who is a master dice player, to have the Pandavas defeated. And when they come, they get defeated. When they get defeated, Draupadi will be dragged into the court because Duryodhana says, you are lost. You are our dasi. And they start disrobing her. That is when Krishna Bhagavan again comes to Draupadi's help by supplying enormous amount of cloth for her to cover her shame. And, and the elders in the Kuru family, they realize that Bhagavad Krupa is there on the side of the Pandavas. Then that disrobing is given up. Then what happens? Draupadi was about to curse the Kuru family for what they have done to her. Then Dhritarashtra intervenes and Gandhari also intervenes. Please, oh Draupadi, please do not curse. We will appease you. What do you want? Take some boons. And one of those boons was that Pandavas are all set free with all their weapons, etc., etc. That happens. After that, Duryodhana does not like this. When he does not like, he again plans with Shekuni before the Pandavas have gone even a couple of furlongs away to Indraprastha, they will be beckoned for another game of dice. This time, the game of dice, the bet is whoever loses will have to live in the forest for 12 years. And afterwards, they have to live in the forest for one more year incognito. If during the 13th year, they have any one of those are discovered, then they have to repeat the whole cycle of 12 years of forest life and one year of living incognito. And sure enough, Shekuni's wiles and Yudhishthira loses. They repair to the forest. They spend the time in the forest very nicely, very, very piously. And they will have the grace of so many great rishis coming to them and giving them a lot of stories, a lot of stories of yesteryear's Mahatmas. And Yudhishthira will be comforted like that. Afterwards, the 13th year starts. They will live in Virata's court, incognito, and they successfully complete that. When they have successfully completed, what happens? There was a commander-in-chief of Virata's king. His name is Kichaka. That Kichaka was killed, was killed by Bhimasena for the sake of Draupadi because Kichaka was advancing towards Draupadi, etc. Bhimasena did not, uh, did not like to delay any further. He simply eliminated Kichaka. So this Duryodhana and company, they come to know Kichaka is no more. And they know that Kichaka cannot be killed by anybody except, except the like of Bhimasena. So they wanted to unearth the Pandavas and again pack them up for 12 more years of forest life. So they, they plan to have a mission to steal the cattle wealth of Virata. And in so doing, in so doing, the entire Kuru army marches towards Viratanagara. By that time, the 13th year has ended, and which the Pandavas knew. And when this happened, Arjuna will 
single handedly fight all the kuru heroes he will he will single handedly fight all of them and finally they will be forced to retreat towards hastinapura and arjuna will get back all the cattle wealth stolen by these kurus after this the virata king would like to wanted to favor arjuna by giving his daughter in marriage to him and arjuna says no i have been her guru i have been her dance and music guru he was in the shape of bruhanala for one year right he was a eunuch and i as a guru cannot have that little girl as my wife i will have her as my daughter in law and subhadra krishna balrama etc all those people together with abhimanyu would come to the virat nagara the marriage is performed nicely and abhimanyu uttara they remain to be the perpetrators of the hastinapura race all others would have been eliminated in the war now the why the war see when the game of dice the 12 year forest life 13th year living incognito if you are not discovered you come back and claim your kingdom that was a case duryodhana says no i have discovered these people i have discovered arjuna and he does not want to give the kingdom at all then what happens bhagwan krishna himself goes and pleads for peace with dhritarashtra and tells them that all these people will be eliminated both sides will lose a lot of people this jananashta is not going to be good for hastinapura you as a king must decide and give pandavas the promised half of the kingdom and duryodhana he is the he is the heir apparent he says who oh, i will not give and then the war ensues that is the that is the background to the war and a lot of sympathizers on yudhishthira side they assemble and he would have some akshauhinis of army okay seven of them and duryodhana would have amassed 11 akshauhinis right this 11 akshauhinis seven akshauhinis these two assemble in kurukshetra at that time when when the war was about to start krishna bhagwan tells arjuna hey arjuna pray to mother durga pray to goddess durga for your victory seek her blessings then on the battlefield arjuna gets down from the chariot and sits squatting he does achamana and invokes mother goddess durga and the story goes vyasa bhagavan beautifully depicts in mahabharata story goes in the firmament durga bhavani appears to both krishna and arjuna and tells arjuna hey arjuna you are going to be victorious don't you worry you are going to be victorious nobody can defeat you you will regain the kingdom and then she will vanish afterwards when arjuna krishna they they join the rest of the forces they coming to the the army proper army proper then 
in the first chapter itself you will come to know then arjuna asks krishna hey krishna please take my chariot in the middle of both armies so that i may see who i need to fight who are assembled here who are desirous of fighting me etc that kind of a thing this is the beginning for the geeta but you know what this is the beginning for the geeta war has not yet broken out war has not yet started but this episode we will get to know vyasa bhagavan se beautiful beautiful artistry what he says as long as bhishma acharya is fighting dhritarashtra is convinced that victory will be on his side when bhishma acharya has fallen sanjaya comes running to the palace and announces the fall of bhishma acharya that is when dhritarashtra asks him dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yuyutsavah mamakaha pandava sheva kim akurvata sanjaya what did they do and what did they do is what for 10 days what what is it they have done and on the first day geeta was unfolded and then geeta will come to us in the mahabharata geeta will come to us thus it does not come immediately beautiful now how long was the war fought 18 days out of this 10 days bhishma acharya was the supreme commander for the kaurava forces after his fall drona acharya was the commander for 5 days that makes it 15 days after drona acharya was beheaded by drushtajumna karna becomes the commander for 2 days after karna was killed by arjuna shelya becomes the commander for half a day that means 10 days by bhishma acharya 5 by drona acharya 15 2 by karna 17 and half by shelya 17 and a half the other half was the fight between bhima sena and duryodhana and duryodhana's fall that is how the 18 day war has ended you know the number of people on either side killed all the 18 akshavahinis were eliminated except a few people on the pandava side the few people who were who were safe who came safely out of war were bhagavan krishna the five pandavas makes it six and satchiki a cousin of krishna that is all on the pandava side these seven only and on the kaurava side only four people survived one is the narrator sanjaya who was blessed with you know television by vyasa bhagavan the narrator is spared krupacharya ashwatthama and krutavarma krutavarma is is a prince from the yadava clan right he fought he he fought on the side of duryodhana krupacharya was the initial guru for the pandavas and kauravas in teaching them archery ashwatthama is the son of dronacharya so these three people and sanjaya only come out unscathed from the war okay now geeta is what geeta is a beautiful samvada and what is the samvada we will come to that there are four types of vada uh nana one, one second one huh? minute before huh? we go ahead um would you think it's important to talk of why how 
Krishna became Arjuna's uh, uh, Sarathi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll come to that. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Okay. There are dialogues, four types of dialogues. One is Vada. This Vada is discussion between, say, two equals. Say, two well-meaning doctors belonging to the same faculty. That kind of a Vada. That is a dialogue. Right? Then there is what is called Jalpa Vada. Jalpa Vada is you hold on to your point of view and by your sheer dint of wit and merit, you win over the opponent. That is the Jalpavada. There may not be any truth in your argumentation, but the truth is that you are capable of defeating the other fellow during a, a bout of dialogues. This is the Jalpavada. Then the third one is Vitandavada. Vitandavada is the name itself is indicative of what is going to happen. You always disagree with what the other fellow says. The other fellow says, the crow is black. You say, no, I have seen a white crow. With Andavada, right? <laughs> this kind of thing. And the Gita is a beautiful Samvada. Samvada. The Samvada, it has the purport of getting to know the truth. The Samvada is getting to know, getting to know the truth. That is how at the end of every chapter of the Gita, what do we say? Om Tat Sat Iti Srimad Bhagavad Gita Su Upanishadsu Brahma Vijayam Yoga Shastre Shri Krishna Arjuna Samvade. Shri Krishna Arjuna Samvade. Arjuna Vishada Yoga Nama Prathamodjaya. That kind of a thing we say. Okay? Gita is a Samvada. Samvada. Now, Brahmara was asking, how come Krishna Paramatma happened to be the Pardasarathi? When the war breaks out, People go here and there to seek help. Duryodhana and Arjuna also go to Dwaraka to seek help from Krishna Bhagavan. Krishna Bhagavan says, Hey, look at it this way. I have two divisions. The first division, only I am. And I will not wield any weapon. I shall not fight. That is the first division. Second division is, I have got some 10,000 warriors who are equally capable of fighting like me. That is the second division. Now pick both of you, which one you want. And because Arjuna is younger to Bhima Sena, Krishna Bhagavan says... Drona I will, uh, huh? Arjuna is... Arjuna than... is younger to Bhima Sena. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Duryodhana. Duryodhana. Sorry. Duryodhana. Yeah. Arjuna is younger to Duryodhana. Bhagavan Krishna says, it is but fair that Arjuna gets the first chance to choose which one of these divisions. First division is Krishna, unarmed, non-fighting. That is the first division. Second division is a set of warriors, 10,000 of them, armed to the teeth and capable of fighting like Bhagavan Krishna. Arjuna says, Krishna, you come to my side. Duryodhana will be terribly pleased. And he will say, okay, what else is there for me to choose? Second division is mine. I will take the second division and go away. That's, that's what happens. And Krishna asks Arjuna, hey, why did you foolishly choose me. I said, I am unarmed. I also said, I will not fight. Why did you choose me? Then, Arjuna very nicely explains to Bhagavan Krishna, you be my charioteer. 
you are very, very adept at, you know, running the chariot. There's no equal to you in, the, in, in this land. And with you at the helm of affairs as a chariot here, I'm pretty sure I shall win the war for my brother. Not only that, you have been a blessing feature for our family till now. And I want the blessing feature to be on our side all the time. Your grace, I want, not your 10,000 warriors. See that, see the choice. How many of us, given that choice, would have chosen Bhagavan Krishna? Hey, this fellow is not going to fight, I believe. You know, if I choose him, it will be another unnecessarily another, another idle mouth to be fed. Hey, I don't want Krishna. I will take this 10,000 warriors. We would have, perhaps, in our, in our ignorance, we would have done that. But Arjuna was not ignorant. He knew the merit of Krishna. He knew the grace of Krishna is going to be on his side and he would be successful. That is how, that is how Krishna came to be Partha Saradhi. Partha, Partha is what? Pradha Susan. Who are those? Yudhishthira, Bhimasena, and Arjuna. Not Nakula Sahadeva. All these five are called not Parthas. The first three only are called Parthas. All the five together are called what? Kaunteya. Kaunteya. Kuntika Beta. All these are called Kaunteya. Because Madri, when she goes away, immolates herself along with her husband. She hands over Nakula and Sahadeva to Kunti. And she protects them like as though they are her own children. So that is, that, that is the backdrop to this. Backdrop to the Gita. Now, Gita, we will have, we will have from tomorrow, certainly. Before that, we, it is but fair that there are some jhana slokas. We should invoke the blessings of the rishis of your and also Bhagavan Krishna on all of us, so that we will take up the study of the Gita unhindered, without any blemish, without any distortion, okay, without any untruth. To, to have that kind of a thing, we must seek their blessings. Now, there are Gita Jhana Slokas and also. At the end of the Gita study, I believe, you will have to, you will have to chant Gita Mahatyam. Without chanting the Gita Mahatyam, the Gita chanting Phala will not be there, I believe. That is what is said in the Gita Mahatyam. It may be to enthuse us into studying the Gita and then immediately studying the Gita Mahatyam, right? Those two we will take up. I think we'll have about 15 more minutes to do that. Right? Uh, Brahmara, is it possible for you to project yeah, the Jnana Slokas? Yes, I will do. Yeah. Hmm. Some enlargement for Ah, old people like me, yeah. Gita Jhanam. Yeah. Most of you, or at least some of you, would have come across these Jhana Slokas. Right? I will start immediately. Now I want your opinion. When we indeed take up the Gita, how do we take it up? The Slokas, as I chant, do you also would like to chant back so that you will get into the get into the uh, mood of chanting 
on your own later. You please think it over. Tell me tomorrow. Okay? Now, the Gita Jhana Slokas. Padhaya Pratibodhitam Bhagavata Narayane Naswayam Vyasena Graditam Purana Munina Madhye Mahabharatam Advaitam Rutavarshinim Bhagavatim Ashtadashadhyayinim Ambatva Manusandadhami Bhagavad Gita Bhavadveshini. Brahmara, can you read the English? To save time, I thought yeah. I'll run like that. Okay. Om, O Bhagavad Gita, with which Partha Arjuna was illuminated by Lord Narayana himself and which was composed in the middle of the Mahabharata by the ancient sage Vyasa, O Divine Mother, the destroyer of rebirth, the showerer of the nectar of Advaita, that is, teaching of oneness in all things, and consisting of 18 chapters upon thee, O Bhagavad Gita, O affectionate mother, I meditate. Yeah. Namo stute vyasa vishala buddhe Pullada vinda yata patra netraha yena tvaya bharata taila purnaha prajwalito gnana maya pradipaha. Salutations unto thee, O Vyasa of broad intellect and with eyes like petals of full blown lotus, by whom the lamp of knowledge filled with the oil of the Mahabharata. Has been lighted. Prapanna padijataya totra vetraika panaye jnana mudraya krishnaya geetam rutaduhe namaha. Salutations to Krishna, the parijata tree or the kalpataru or the bestower of all desires for those who take refuge in him. The holder of the whip in one hand, the wielder of the symbol of knowledge and the milker of the nectar of the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Sarvopanishado gavo Dugdham Gitaam Rutam Mahat. All the Upanishads are cows. The milker is Krishna, the cowherd boy. Partha Arjuna is the calf. Men of purified intellect are the drinkers. The milk is the great nectar of the Gita. Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsa Chanura Madanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum. I salute Lord Krishna, the world teacher, son of Vasudeva, son of Vasudeva, the destroyer of Kamsa and Chanura, the supreme bliss of Devaki. Yeah. Can you shift? Yeah. Bhishma drone, is that the one or we missed any sloka? No, 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 this is the one. Bhishma drone, tata, jayadra, dhajala, gandhara, nilotpala, shelya, grahavati, krupena, vahane, karnena, vela, kula, ashvetthama, vikarna, ghora, makaraha, Duryodhana Vattini Sotirna Kalupanda Vai Rananadi Kaivartaka Keshava. With Keshava as the helmsman, verily was crossed by the Pandavas the battle river, whose banks were Bhishma and Drona, whose water was Jayadrada whose blue lotus was the king of Gandhara, whose crocodile was Shalya, whose current was Kripa, 
whose below was Karna, whose terrible alligators were Ashwatthama and Vikarna, whose whirlpool was Duryodhana. Para Sharia Vaches Saroja Mamalam, Gaita the Gandhot Katam, Nana Tianaka Kesaram Harikatha, Sambodhana Bodhitam, Loke Sajana Shatpadaira Haraha, Pepe Yamanam Muda, Boyad Bharata Pankajam Kalimala. May this lotus of the Mahabharata, born in the lake of the world of the words of Vyasa, sweet with fragrance of the meaning of the Gita, with many stories as its stamens, fully opened by the discourses on Hari, the destroyer of the sons of the Kali age, and drunk joyously by the bees of good men in the world, day by day become the bestower of good to us. Mukam karoti vachalam panghum langhayate girim yet krupatamaham vande paramananda madhavam. I salute that madhava, the source of supreme bliss, whose grace makes the dumb man eloquent and the cripple cross mountains. Yam Brahma Varunendra Rudra Marutaha Stunvanti Divya Istavaihi Vedae Sangapadakramo Panishadaihi Gayanti Yam Samaga Jana Vastita Tadgatena Manasa Pashyantiyam yoginaha eshyantam navidusura suraganaha devayatasmai namaha. Salutations to that God whom Brahma, Varuna, Indra, Rudra and the Maruts praise with divine hymns of whom the Sama chanters sing by the Vedas and their Angas in the Pada and the Krama methods and by the Upanishads, whom the yogins see with their minds absorbed in him through meditation and whose end the hosts of Devas and Asuras know not. Beautiful. Now, can you open the Gita Mahatyam, please? One minute. I don't have it readily available, but okay. I will uh, I will get it from the net. Maybe you can start. No, 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 no. I will do it myself. Okay. I will do it myself. Wait a minute. I'll get my book. Nana, adjust your camera. Uh -huh. Adjust one? your camera, please. Okay. Is it okay? Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, Gita Mahatyam. Where are you? Uh, okay. There is a small Gita Mahatyam and there is a bigger Gita Mahatyam. The small one we will cover today. The bigger one we will cover tomorrow. Okay? The small one. Gita Shastra Midam Punyam Yapate Prayata Puman Vishnu Padamavap Noti Bayashoka Deva Jetaha. This Punya Pradageta Shastram, whoever studies Prayata Puman with an effort, okay, those people will go to. Vishnu ho padam avapnoti. They will go to the Vishnu loka. Bhaya shokadi vajitaha. And they will be they will be bereft of bhaya and shoka. 
गीताध्ययनशीलाणायाम पर सी पापा ने पूर्वजन्म कृता गीताध्ययनशील द वन हु इज वेरी डिवोटेड टू दि अध्ययना ऑफ द गीता प्राणायाम पर हु डस् द योग आलो अंड डस् प्राणायाम नैव सी पापा पूर्वजन्म कृता दि पापा विल नाट taint him they will not attach to him that porvajanma krutani cha is a poetic expression perhaps right now manadimochanam pamsam jalasnanam dine dine sakrut geetam vasi snanam samsara malanashanam manadimochanam pamsam jalasnanam dine dine when you when you take bath day in and day after what happens maladin mochanam your dirt on the body will be nicely cleansed maladin mochanam pamsam jalasnanam dine dine sakrut sakrut means people who do good things sakrut geetam bhasi snanam geeta ambhasi in the river in the in the waters of the geeta sakrut geetam bhasi snanam if it does that the sakrut velo geeta ambhasi snanam samsara mala nashanam he will be freed from the mala of the samsara the normal bath will cleanse your body only whereas the bath in the geeta the bath in the geeta waters in the amrita waters of the geeta will ensure samsara mala is nicely washed away right geeta sugeeta sattavya kemanya shastra vistarehi ya swayam padmana bhasya mukha padma advine shruta geeta this is the one which is chanted which is which is sang geeta sugeeta very well sang kartavya this has to be done Okay. Kimanya shastra vista rehi. Why are you unnecessarily worried about reading other shastras? You you just stick to Gita shastram. Kimanya shastra vista rehi. Ya swayam padma na bhasya mukha padma advine shruta ha. The nectar which is the Gita has come out from the mouth of who? padmanabha padmanabha is kitapa okay from bhagwan krishna's mouth this geeta shastram has come about where do you have to worry about studying other shastra geeta sugeeta kartavya kimanyaihi shastra vistaraihi ya swayam padmanabhasya mukha padmadvinishruta ha chi when the gurus who we venerate and the guru's guru is bhagwan jagat guru when he is teaching we we do what we turn a deaf ear is it that is what we have to think geeta sugeeta kartavya kimanyai shastra vistaraihi this is what all the other shastras we must subordinate to the geeta shastra right भारतामृत सर्वस्व विष्णो वक्त गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म नीजते भारतामृत सर्वस्व ओके भारत अमृत द नेक्टार ऑफ नेक्टार विच इज भारत एंड दटर थिंग द सर्वस्व इज अवेलेबल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द गीता भारत अमृत सर्वस्व एंड दिस हेज कम औट of the mouth of vishnu vishnu vaktra advinishrutam geeta gangodakam pitva if you if you sip the gangodakam of geeta punarjanma navijyate no punarjanma why no punarjanma when you indeed study the geeta very very sincerely and adhere to whatever bhagwan krishna has taught and 
then there is no question of punarjanma. Punarjanma navigated. That is the meaning. Sarvo Upanishadho Gavaha Dogdha Gopala Nandanaha Pardho Vatsa Sudhir Bhokta Dugdham Gita Amritam Mahat All the Upanishads, if they are equated to Gavaha, cows, Dogdha Gopala Nandanaha, the milker is Gopala Nandanaha, okay? Pardho Vatsaha, this we have discussed yesterday or day before. The calf is Pardha. Sudhir Bhokta, people like you and I, are sudhihi, the ones who are endowed with good buddhi, sudhihi. Sudhihi bhokta, they will be the enjoyers of the milk. Dugdham gitam rutam mahat. Let this be partaken. Ekam shastram devaki putra gitam. Ekam shastram devaki putra gitam. What is the shastram, sir? Devaki putra gitam. Eko Devo Devaki Putrayeva. Who is that God, sir? The God is only one. In all religions, only God is mentioned, no gods. The other gods are only manifestations of his vibhuti, his powers. Ekam Shastram Devaki Putragetam. Eko Devo Devaki Putrayeva. Eko Mantraha Tasyana Maniyani. The only mantra is the names of that great personage, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Eko mantra tasya namaniyani karma pyekam tasya devasya seva. Karma. Karma is what? The vihita karma, shastra vihita karma. The karma ordained by the shastra is only. Tasya Devasya Seva. Vasudeva Putrasya Seva. That is the meaning. Okay? The, the meaning is what? Vasudeva Putrasya Seva. He never wanted everybody to keep on doing Seva to him. No. I say, listen to what I have told you and confirm to that. And that is my Seva. That is the meaning. Okay? The other... Gita Mahatyam, we will cover tomorrow. Brahmara, if you can please project that tomorrow, it will be great. That has got a lot of verses. That has got nearly 23 verses. But it is very good to get started on the Gita with that. Okay? Now we will call it a day now, here? Yes. Okay. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramayaha, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makaschet Dukkha Bhag Bhavet, Om Shanti 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 He. Om Hari Om, all of you. Hari Om. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will meet tomorrow. Thank you. 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 Thank you're talking to me, huh? Uh, no, the the students here. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So I'll take leave of all of you. Hari Om. Thank you. We'll meet tomorrow. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you. Namaha.